I guess you can see that okay. There's a little bit of a light from coming in from the window and I tried to fix that, but uh, that's, I think you'd still be able to see it. I don't have a whole lot of time to get this done. Mommy's out and about and I wanted to try to get this done before she got back. The first thing I'm going to do is take this cover plate off. At first glance, you might have thought, oh, just swap the two switches around. You don't even, why do you have to take the middle electrical outlet? Why do you have to unscrew it from the wall? I have to do that because all the wires are back behind there. Okay. So they use long screws here and they use sheetrock screws, I can see. Really super long, it goes into the box. I believe, oh, they're not that, well, they're about two inches long, see? And usually, obviously, you don't have screws like that. You usually have different screws. The sheetrock screws will still fit in the boxes, and they did that because, remember I said the backsplash was probably three quarters of an inch thick? It might even be a little bit thicker than that. I know all the power is off on here, but I'm still going to be kind of as careful as I can. And you know what? I could take a, uh, man, I should have taken a felt tip pin. I'm just going to dab it right about where, the, where these were before so that my cover plate will fit on there. And I can, I can adjust it, you know, whichever way. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't really have to do that. Okay. Am I a licensed electrician? No. But you don't have to be either. Oh, we're not adding a circuit to the panel or doing anything like that all we're doing is simply moving these things around we've got the power all off to these right okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna gently pull this out of the wall this one here maybe I don't have to pull out as far this one here I'm gonna pull that out like that, pull this one out. Let's get you in there a little bit closer. We'll take the zoom off of it. Now see, we've got two black wires to this light switch and there's a wire nut right there. And see, usually, if, if you've watched my videos before, usually you'll notice that the wires that come out are about six inches long or so. And see, if I were to pull these straight, this is going to be up quite a bit further. Now see, this one here happens to have a red on there and a black. It's not white. It's just spray. It's just paint or primer that they put on the walls or whatever. Lots of times they get it all in the box. See, everything looks white in there, a little bit of black over here. And you're like, how... What's the deal here? That's just because when they did the uh, rough wiring, they put that in there and then they did the paint and they put primer on before they, they did anything for this, uh, for this countertop and the, and the backsplash and stuff. And they just got paint in there, okay? And so there should be enough wire. If I pull this straight out, there should be enough wire for me to take the wire and kind of zigzag it back in here and come out. Should be enough wire in this to zigzag across over there and come back out. And interestingly enough, as I pulled on this, you see this, you see this wire right here? This one that goes up into the back of this switch? Look how it's moving. See? Right there. It shouldn't be moving like that. That's because it's loose. And I'm glad I'm checking that. I may, I may not be able to use that. I might have to take that and wrap it around this this uh, this screw instead. You can wrap them around the screws or you can poke them into the back. 
See, there's there'll be little holes with a little grabber thing in there. You push your wire in there, and then it holds. But this one, this one here, seems to be just ever so slightly loose. Okay, so first things first, what to do at this point? You know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to gently pull on these wires a little bit and kind of straighten them out. And yeah, see this one, this one happened to be loose. It's still stuck in there. I might have to check that. See, I'm just, I'm just straightening it out. I haven't even undone it yet. See how long these wires are now? See? Now I can, I can probably just leave this one alone. I, I don't have to pull that out and mess with it. In fact, there's two black wires co coming on this side, two white wires on there, a ground wire. I've got five wires on this. This one here happens, uh, look at that. This happens to have just two black wires on it. And I'm also seeing something else. There should be a ground wire on it. And see this ground wire? Screw has a little copper wire on there and it's been snapped off. That tells me there's a ground wire in there that I'm gonna have to fish out. There should be a ground wire. See this plug, this switch here has a ground wire on it right here. See there? It's generally just a copper, unsheathed, bare copper wire. Okay, and that's the ground. And then they got these plugged into the back. They happen to have red, and for some reason they put they put a black. They put black on there just to show people, an electrician later on. Hey, there's power to that. It's not a white wire. I'm not using that as a white wire. I'm using that as black as power. Most, most electricians know that anyways, but they decided to do that. So I'm going to have to fish that ground wire out of there. And it doesn't matter on the ground wires. I could take the ground wire off on this one, leave it over here, pull this ground wire out. I don't have to relocate that ground wire in the box over to here, and this ground wire over to there. I don't have to do that. This, this ground wire, when I take it off, I'm going to attach it to this switch because the switch is going to be over here now. This one that goes over here, I'm going to have to pull that ground wire out further, put another loop in it, and reattach it. You follow me? That's simple enough. Okay, so... I'm, I've got this one... I've got this one pulled out for right now. And I can, I can pull this one out now. I can just kind of jerk on it. Well, not jerk, but pull, pull on a little bit. I'm just getting enough room so that I can get to the back of this and get these wires disconnected. Okay. See that now? Now I can. I can just flip this around here like that. I'm going to flip this around, just bend it like that, okay? That's your next step because I need to get in here to disconnect those wires. And the way I'm going to disconnect those wires, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you on here and zoom you in this time. See those two little holes? See that hole right there and this hole right there? I take my little screwdriver and I'm always using this, aren't I? my little screwdriver and I'm going to push it in there okay I'm going to push it in well yeah I'm going to relocate this cuz cuz see I don't really have enough room before I do that I'm just going to think this through I could maybe lift this up and reposition these wires back over there and do vice versa with this. But it's easier to disconnect this so I can reroute the wires. And if I need to pull a little bit extra out, I can push them back in there, have the wires poked back out, okay? 
So that's what that's what I'm going to do. You you'll learn you'll you'll learn a little bit more this way, anyways. Okay. So there's those there's the back of that. Nah, get you right like that. And I'm gonna just plug the push this right into the switch in the back and pull like that. Wire popped out. I do the same thing there. Just okay. Just like that. I have to remember, I don't want to get these these messed up. That that one is gonna is gonna be relocated. This switch is going to be re relocated over here. When I look at it, there's actually a top and bottom to it. In case I set it down on here and twirl it around, how do I know which way's up? It's a paddle. What's the difference? Well, the difference is it actually says top on it, right up in there. It's hard to it's hard to see that. See? And I've got the ground screw on the left. Okay, so that's going to go over there. And now, now I've got to do, now I've got to do the same thing to this other one, don't I? See? Look at that. It's got, it's got the little holes in the back of it. Hard to see it, but it's back there. So I'm pushing on it, and, and it's kind of tricky to do it by yourself, but. Sometimes they don't want to just pull out, so I've got to hold this, push this in, and pull it out at the same time. Okay. If you have any questions whatsoever, which I don't, I could say, okay, I'll just be on the safe side. I don't really need to, but the black, wrapped black wire is going to go up to the top. That's the big deal. I shouldn't have to do that, but... And I'm noticing... Okay. So now I, I pull that back out, and now I've got just the ground. I've just got the ground screw left on there, don't I? Okay. So I can just twist it over like that, the, and the ground was halfway off already. Look at that. It wasn't even really on there. Boy. Okay. So now, and this one's the same, the same way. I look at top and bottom. It's got, it's got a little top written there. I know that one's going to go over there. And here's here's something else that you might you might be like, what what's what's up with this? Okay, and these wires over here are thinner. These wires are thinner; they're more pliable. As and these these are thicker. These are really thick and hard to maneuver around. So I'm glad I'm pulling this off, and I'm going to straighten these and. And reroute it and all that kind of stuff. Why is that? Well, this is on a 20 amp breaker. You need 12 2. This is size 12 gauge wire. You need that because they ran it on a 20 amp circuit because that was for the garbage disposal. Okay, this was for just the lights. And on the lights, you can use a 15 amp circuit, which only then requires you 14 gauge wire. So this wire is 14 gauge. Okay, that's why it's so. It's so pliable and easier to work with. This one here, I believe it was on a 20 amp. I can't remember now. But it looks like it's the wire's size look, looks as, as big as this over here. That's probably on a 20 amp circuit too. I forget what it showed in the electrical panel. Okay. So at this point, that's what you got so far. Okay. You think you can do this? I think you can.